Hey, how's it going, everybody? Let me show you a couple things you can do with Safari. So you're going to come over here to settings. Now, what you got to do, because I'm already there, what you got to do is scroll down, go to apps, scroll down here to Safari, and then tap on Safari. Then you come over here, and you're going to see tabs. The first thing that I'm going to show you is, now watch this. So I prefer my search bar to be on top in Safari. I prefer it to be up there, right? So let's come back over here. So you guys see how I like to do that, right? I like for my bar to be up there on top. But say you don't want it there. Say you want it at the bottom. For the longest time, that's what people were kind of digging, right? They wanted their search bar at the bottom for some reason. All right, cool. So now you come over here. You can see the search bar is there on the bottom now. All right, down there. So that's pretty cool. All right, next. But you want to do something else. You have something called Compact. And uh, yeah, there, there, there you go. So if you want compact, I don't recommend this at all, okay? Because it just, yeah, because then you got to, in order to get to your tabs, you got to go through all that, right? So for those of you that want to use it, that's cool. I'm going to leave mine on top. All right, next, landscape bar. So I have mine activated. Let me show you something real quick. So when I come over here, turn it like this, turn it like this, you can see all my tabs that are open right there on top, right? All the tabs I have available. Okay, so now we're gonna come back over here. Now if you come here, turn that off. Now come back over here like this, turn it like that. You're gonna see there is none of that. You just have this right there, your search bar, that's on top, and then, yeah, but you don't have any of your tabs available to you, so yeah, it just depends what you wanna do there, personal preference, right? So I am going to do this. This one right here, I don't know. Maybe I'm, um, no, watch, here we go. So allow website tinting. I have it turned on. And so you watch, watch when I scroll. You see there, like what color it is? All right, search bars up there. You see what I got going on, right? Now I'm gonna come over here. Now I'm gonna turn that off, right? Allow website tinting off. And then when it come like this, maybe I'm not seeing it, but it's still doing the same thing to me. So I don't know. Maybe that's just, all right. So you guys see what I'm saying, right? So for those of you that want, you can go ahead and mess with it. I'm just going to leave mine on. Now, right now, open links in new tab. So whenever you're going to open a link in something, I prefer mine to be in a new tab. That way it doesn't disturb whatever tab that I actually need, right? There you go. All right. Next, then you have this one. Watch. Close tabs manually. You can tap tap on that, and you can pick after one day, after a week, after one month. So some of you have like thousands of tabs open. It would probably be in your best interest to close them after one week, all right? But the most important part of this video for a lot of you, because I know there's a lot of people out there that for some reason, they you either really want your search bar on the bottom or you want your search bar on top. So this is how you do it. You go to, you go to settings, apps, safari, scroll down to tabs, and this is where you can control that, okay? If you guys have any special requests, let me know. I love doing these like little tips and tricks things because there's these little things, little intricate things about our phones, whether it's an iPhone, Samsung, Pixel, that you just don't know about unless you're like, you're like somehow in the know, right? Say you study this stuff, like you're really into this, you wouldn't know like these little tips and tricks, right? So anyway, I want you guys to hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think, and I will catch all of you in the next one. Take care.